Hi folks, how are we all doing today? Today we are going to do something very interesting. I am really excited for this app because we are going to do a piano app. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I am really quite uh, excited for this and let's just check out how to create a piano app. Okay, so uh, before starting off with the app, right? So you should have some files ready only then you can uh, create piano app right so you should have piano note sounds okay so you download it from uh, any sound library right so and you will have to upload them onto your thunkable app so that you can use those sounds okay so i already have downloaded them and i have kept them ready right so i just have to click on this choose file option here to upload them Okay, so before starting off with this, I would just like to tell you all guys that if you have not been subscribed to my channel yet, so please do subscribe, right? And also do share it with all those kids who ever are in need and whoever needs to learn coding, right? Every kid, I feel like they have to learn coding because here after, we are gonna have all technical things only, all technological things only, right? So I just feel like this is very important for everyone right yeah so this is all let's quickly get started and let's upload all the files by clicking on choose file over here so so i'm just selecting all at once So I have uploaded all the sounds like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and high note, right? All the note sounds are there, okay? So all WAV files are uploaded, okay? And for this app, we will be needing a sound component. Without the sound component, you can't really play anything, okay? So just search for sound component over here, you'll get it. And this is one of the uh, non-visible component, I mean invisible component, okay? So just get this, right? And then now we are ready and we quickly can start designing our app, okay? So for piano app, um, I'll just change the orientation of the screen, right? So let's rename it as piano. Okay, so let's change the background color. I think I would prefer a dark gray color. Yeah. So screen orientation landscape okay and then we can style it so vertical alignment will be top horizontal alignment will be center only okay so yeah this is all now now on this uh, i'll just place a row because i want all my buttons to be placed one beside the other okay so that's why let's just get a row. So we already know a row is a component which will um, actually place the components one beside the other, right? The horizontal alignment, okay? So that's why I'm just taking this. I will just change the height as um, relative size, okay? So instead of fill container, we can just say 50% of the screen, right? So height will be 50% of the screen, okay? When you just turn it like this, like the horizontal thing, then it will occupy the half of the screen, the top half, okay? Now, um, and then we can just change the alignment. So horizontal alignment will be center. Vertical alignment also will be center, okay? I think this is all. This is all on our, on our row. Now, now, after the row, you'll have to drag buttons, okay? We will be needing eight buttons in total. Like, I have eight note sounds, so that's the reason um, I'm just taking eight buttons. Before taking eight buttons, right, what I would just like to tell you is, um, first, let's rename this one, and then I will tell you. So, this will be piano row, piano buttons row. And then click on the button. You design one button, right? You can duplicate, okay? So that's pretty simple. So I'll just rename this as um, A 
A button, A note, A note button. Okay, then uh, we do not have any text on the button first of all, right? Or you can just say, or uh, wait a second, we'll start with C note. So I'm just uh, writing C over here. Let the text color be like that. So I'm just giving background color as, um, let's start with a black color button, okay? Now we have to remove this thing. 75 is there, so I'll just say four. Yeah, I think this is good. Then we'll change the height and width. So height can be fill container, yeah something like this okay and then then width can be so for width i'll just take relative size and i'm just giving 10 percent of the size okay so i'm writing 10 percent okay and uh, how about the text it's not being in the center I think it will automatically get adjusted, right? So I'll just say font bold, font italic, raised. Okay. So and uh, I'll, for a change, what I will do, I'll just give border. Border color will be this. Style will be solid. Yeah, yeah, this gives... A pretty look on this screen it is like this right let me just show you when i just live test it the size of the button will change so don't worry about the size and all yeah see it looks good so now when you execute this app on a mobile phone right then you will see that the screen will become horizontal okay like a landscape thing okay so, but on the laptop, we can't really turn and see, right? So, that's how it is, okay? And what I'll do, I'll just duplicate the button. So, I'll just duplicate it. I'll say this will be D note button, okay? So, D, the text will be D, right? And background color will change to white. Then text color will change to black. Okay, and then what next? Okay, so border color also will change to black, like white, black, white, black, right? So perfect. We have the other button also ready. Now what I'll do, I'll just click on the first button. I'll duplicate this. Oh, wait, I'm renaming it. Sorry. Duplicate it. Duplicate it. Okay, so what can be done? We just will place this below D note. Okay, that's it. So C, D, E note, right? So this will be E note. Okay. And I'll change the text as E. That's it. Let's click on this now. Let's duplicate this. Let's drag it down below E. Right. Let's rename it first of all. After E, we'll have F. And then we'll have F here. Okay. Then we need a black button again. So I'm just duplicating it. Duplicate it. Drag it down below F. Rename this first of all. So after F, we have G. I hope you have a G note. A, B, C, D, E, F, G is there, yeah. Next, we'll click on the white button. We'll just duplicate that white button. Let's just drag it down below G button. Okay. And then we'll rename this as uh, A note. Okay. After G, we'll write A. So A note. Okay. And then we'll duplicate this G button now duplicate duplicate this will become b now okay this will be b 
so b and b lastly we need the white color button now duplicate duplicate drag it down below this will be high no high c so i'll say c sharp C hash okay so yeah that's it we are done with the <laughs> piano keys right okay so just under this row I would just like to place um, a label okay where when you click on the button will just show the note on the button on the label okay so I'll just give some mar top margin so I'll just say 10 pixel top margin okay oh i'm giving a padding not padding but uh, top margin okay so we can just say zero padding and then we'll just give borders also so that um, so it looks like like it blends in with that i'll just give a dark gray color uh, no 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 light gray color yeah this is good and let's give some padding also i'll just give five pixel top and bottom padding and 10 pixel left and right padding yeah cool it has some gap and space now so this will be empty and uh, this will be note label i'll just remove this okay now under this label we'll just place a button to clear all the notes off okay so this will be clear button i'll just rename this as clear button let's rename it as clear notes and let's give a top margin top margin will be 10 pixels okay and then um, border will be two radius will be four color will be light gray color to blend in with that things and then solid font bold font italic raised and then we'll change the background color to light gray color or border is also with the same color right then let's go white color mm, okay text will be black color cool this is also good <laughs> not bad right so this is all i think we are done with the designing part right so yeah we have all the design ready now what shall we do is we shall be going to blocks and let's start coding okay now when c note button is clicked right so when c note button is clicked what shall we do on this is first thing we have to start playing the sound right so set sound one source to so what will be the source it will be c note dot wav okay and then we will have to start playing the sound so call sound one's play okay and then we'll also have to set it on the note label so set note labels text to c okay i'll just write c right now let's live test this for c button if this works out then we can actually duplicate it for all other buttons right so i'm just setting the sounds source okay so i'm just giving the source file which sound has to be played okay and then without calling the play function we can't really play anything right so that's why i'm calling play and then i'm setting it on the note label that's it Okay, let's just quickly check this out. Okay, wow. Looks good. Looks good. Um, C. You just uh, write C there. Wow. Wow. It's playing. <laughs> it's playing. Nice. I, I really like it. <laughs> it's playing the thing. We can just duplicate it for all other buttons now. So this will be D note button, then uh, D note 
then thing will be d not v sorry d so yeah let's duplicate it again so after d we shall be getting e so let's play e note the sound will be e duplicate let's just go down e and then f so f and here also it's f okay now let's duplicate this e f g right so g here we have g note here we'll be writing g okay so let's duplicate it after g we will be having ga a so a then here also a here we'll be writing a okay and then let's duplicate this again so instead of um, a it will be b so this will be b note thing will be b sorry b and the last one one last thing right so it shall be uh, C high high note high C okay so and then high C oh C hash we wrote right right cool so just right click clean up so everything will be aligned properly okay you can actually right click and say collapse blocks right click and clean up blocks this is also fine so everything will be will be in one place right so how to um, expand the blocks is right click and expand block it will expand itself you can expand all by clicking on expand blocks also right click and clean up this is also done right click collapse right click clean up this is also fine okay so now let's live test it and check quickly wow see just imagine if this is like uh, the horizontal thing it would look so pretty right more pretty than this wow <laughs> i don't know if you can uh, hear the sound or not but this is cool <laughs> it's something like that i really like it so when you click on uh, clear notes nothing will happen for now okay so you can just write it clear button so when clear button click right so you can ju just set the note label text as empty set note label text to empty okay this is also fine collapse clean up perfect so this is all about our today's session guys i hope you all like it so if clear notes it, okay it did not get updated maybe this this becomes empty okay so this is all about our today's session and uh, yes if you all like it please do like uh, and also please comment if you have anything to tell me right also just um, subscribe to my channel folks hub okay so yeah please do like comment share subscribe yes everything okay all right so i will be meeting you all guys in the next session thank you so much for watching this video i'll be coming up with more videos like this thank you so much bye bye have a great day all well.